I can't call her. I mean... Did Luke Skywalker... Oh, would you stop? <laughs> Luke Skywalker, this Luke Skywalker, that... I'm sick of hearing about that little fruit. <laughs> Luke Skywalker is not... <laughs> he and Leia clearly... I... <laughs> that guy even looks like Eric. Oh my God! Eric! Donna! just a pinto. Wes, <laughs> this is putt-putt. Your choices are putt or putt. Hey! What the hell? Oh, Foreman. Yeah, I should have known it was you guys. Most people that come here can't hit the ball that hard on account of they're in kindergarten. <laughs> Mitch, congratulations. This seems like the perfect job for someone your size. What with the free lodging and the little castle on hole six. <laughs> Yeah, there's just enough room in there for me and your mom. Yeah, the sweetest burns involve doing it with your mom. Foreman, why are we always fighting? I can't remember how we got this way. I think a chick said that to me once. No. That was me. I can't believe you got a hold of the Darth Vader with the green lightsaber. Pew, 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 pew. What? No, no, it's. What a geek. What are you doing? I'm not touching you. Well, stop it. But I'm not touching you. Stop not touching me. Okay. <laughs> wasn't it better when I wasn't touching you? <laughs> yeah. Oh. They look happy. Why don't we have a game? Just stop asking me why don't we have stuff? Why don't we have a song? Why don't we have a movie? We're men. I thought we were sensitive men. We're not. But one of us is. Shut up! And it's not you. After the Forminian Wars, young Luke Skywalker had to face his most formidable enemy yet, Darth Vader, with the rare and deadlier green lightsaber. What? No. Bathtub with your little doll? Action figure! Oh no. In the tub, Foreman? It is getting really hard to be your friend. Lori, try these banana walnut pancakes. Now you've always had a thing for nuts. Every man in town knows that. Why men? Oh, never mind. You guys, an agent for immigration is coming to check on Fez and Lori's marriage, and if he finds out it's fake, Fez could get deported. But this marriage is based on love, right, honey? Don't touch me. <laughs> Fine, I'll give you 20 bucks to pretend to be my wife. It's gotta sound familiar. Steven, if you 
keep doing that, it's gonna be really hard for me to pretend I don't know what you're talking about. Then I should go because it's just too easy. Like Lori. Scrubby, scrubby, fist is nice and clean. What the hell? I don't know what you heard, but this show ain't free. What is this doing here? Okay, Red, he just has to stay here for a few days. But Kitty, he was in my shower. He saw my legs. And he saw Pippi. Shut up. And that was the first time I ever tasted chocolate. That's a great story, man. But uh, it's like two in the morning, so you gotta go to sleep. But I forgot my tip of my ocean sounds. <laughs> and I cannot fall asleep without it. Can you make cushion sounds for me? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay, then let me tell you about the first time I ate a blow pop. <laughs> Lick number one, what a surprise. You're forgetting the whale songs. Listen, man, I've only been to the ocean once. And the closest thing I saw to a whale was some fat guy selling drugs. Fine. Leg number two, still no gum? yourself oh great dad you know what you woke him up you put him back to sleep yeah, check it out high street oh man Hyde's gonna love this all right look if we got red's tools i bet i could cut down that pole okay. i'll just sneak into your garage grab the tools red will never know okay but you gotta be really quiet. Come on, it's me we're talking about. I'm like a cat. <laughs> Red, hey. You're wondering why I'm going through your stuff. I needed uh, to borrow your saw. Because I need to chop down a tree. Because there's something stuck in it. An animal, a rabbit. There's a rabbit stuck in a tree and I want to return that rabbit to the wild so it can lay its eggs. So rabbits don't... How the hell did a rabbit get up a tree? Uh, Eric threw it up there. Eric threw a rabbit up a tree? Yeah. Hey, he's a sadistic bastard. You know he hit a cow? As long as you're living under my roof, you'll do what I tell you to do. Well, lucky for me, I won't be under your roof much longer anyway. What the hell are you talking about? Well, I'm 18. I should be getting out of here, right? I mean, you know, that's what my dad did, my uncle did, my cousins did. They were all on their own when they were my age. What are they doing now? Uh, pumping gas, prison, prison, dead, prison. 
and the reason you're living here is so you don't end up like them. But if you want to leave, I can't stop you. So, what's it going to be, Stephen? Prison, death, or a birthday party? <laughs> I guess I'll go to the party. <clears throat> Thanks, Red. You're welcome. And, uh, don't tell Eric that we had this little conversation. Because when he's 18, he's out. Aw, look at him. All tuckered out from a day of chasing nurses. Yeah, it's like a gigantic horny baby. I bet he's having sweet dreams. Welcome to the clinic for sexy foreigners. Tell me what hurts, baby. Oh, I have a bad case of horniness for nurses. What you need is a sexy sponge bath. I like the way you operate. <laughs> How's that? It's not bad. But I sure am. Yes, you are. Nothing, nurse. Maybe you need a little spanking. Maybe I do. <laughs> now, why don't you turn your head and cough? <laughs> oh, what's the problem, buddy? <laughs> what's the problem, buddy? <laughs> All right, let's play some ball. Why would you slap me on the butt? Is there something about me that would make you think that I, a boy, would like you, another boy, to put his hand on my butt? Ah, uh, no? Then keep your hands to yourself, butt slapper. <laughs> okay, let's just play some ball. Yeah. Fine, we'll be skins. <laughs> oh, look at Mr. Hansen taking his shirt off. <laughs> As if that were something that I would dream about. <laughs> okay, what is your problem, man? Has any of you ever had a dream where you were with the opposite of a girl? Like uh, two girls? Sure. <laughs> See, I had a dream. And it was erotic. <laughs> and it was about Kelso. What? Wow! Wow! That is awesome! <laughs> Fez, you gotta tell us about this dream. What? No, you don't gotta! <laughs> Look at him, he's undressing me with his eyes right now! what happened and and don't be afraid to use colorful words like sweaty or fondle or forbidden go ahead well Kelsey was a nurse <laughs> and there was sponging oh! <laughs> and hey maybe maybe the dream continued to find some girls. Well, did it continue? No. What could this mean? Well, isn't it obvious? It means that I'm gay. <laughs> oh, Mr. Red, I need some advice. I had an erotic dream about Kelso. <laughs> hey, look who I found. At first, I just thought he was a leprechaun. Fez, I came over here because I want to end this feud, okay? Right here, right now. And if you're not on board, I mean, I, I could spread your crazy, naked, homoerotic dream all over school, but... 
macho as I am, <laughs> who will believe you? <laughs> okay, Fez. Uh, can I just say, as the nurse that was sponging you in your dream, that I'm with Mitch here on the whole not spreading it around the school thing? <laughs> See, your lady friend here understands. <laughs> Truce? Well, I guess, uh, truth. Good, here, peace offering. Moron! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is tomorrow's school paper. Oh my God, in the front page, there's a picture of me kissing Kelso by the lake. <laughs> Fez, why are you kissing Kelso by the leg? We caught a fish! I was excited! I kissed the fish too, but of course, they don't show you that! Are you closed yet or what? I've been waiting in the parking lot for like forever. Well, I didn't see you out there. That's because I was hiding in the bushes by your car. <laughs> I figured when I jumped out, you'd be so relieved it was me that you'd go out with me again. Why didn't you just ask me out? I, I don't know. You, I, was, you, I was gonna, but you're so pretty and successful, and plus, I kind of like hiding in the bushes. Michael, I appreciate the offer, but I'm not sure you're my type. Not your type? I'm like ketchup. I go good on everything. Yeah, well, thanks anyways. Okay, all right, look, Angie, I really want to go out with you again, okay? And I got about 50 lines that I could throw at you right now, but I don't want to do that because I don't want you to go out with me because of some line. I want you to go out with me because you like me as much as I like you. Are you telling me that's not a line? Well, not now, but if it works, I can add it to the list. Okay, you know what? Let's go get a drink. But just one drink. Ready for that drink now? Hey, hi. Why are you smiling? I don't know. You talk to Angie today? No. Oh, yeah! I have officially nailed everyone in this room's sister. Ow. That's... Ow. Hey, hi, Kelso and Angie. Ah, you already know. Hi. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to the Kelso Had Sex With My Sister Club. There's no handshake or password. And there's, there's really just shame. Damn it, Kelso. My sister's been in town for a month. You've already slept with her? This is why I keep my sister 10,000 miles away in a jungle. Believe me, if things don't work out with Angie, I'm on the next flight out. Hey, hi. Remember how you kept bringing it up when Kelso nailed my sister? I never understood why, but now I get it. It's fun. <laughs> so guess what? Kelso nailed your sister. Oh, uh, and another thing. Kelso nailed your sister. <laughs> Shut up, you little twizzler. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but Kelso nailed your sister. <laughs> I can't believe they're making you wear those knee-high socks every day. What the hell? Oh my god. I'm blind! Jackie, get off me! Great outfit. Okay, so, um, what exactly did you see? Tongues? Yours? His? It was horrible! You were 
sound like Siamese twins joined at the beard. Hey, this is her fault, man. She threw herself at me. No, no, you were on top of me. You pulled me. I've done a lot of partying, so, you know, my balance is off. This is impossible. You two hate each other. Kelso is going to freak out. <gasps> Kelso. <laughs> Settle down, Esmeralda. <laughs> Kelso doesn't need to know about this. Yeah, look, it's just a meaningless fling, OK? We can stop whenever we want. Well, then maybe you should. Well, why do you even care? Because you're breaking up the band, Yoko! <laughs> Fine, fine, okay? So, I'm hanging out in the basement like I usually do. When Jackie showed up, it was obvious she wanted me. I want you. It's obvious. God, that's crazy. You, know, you so came on to me first. You, know, you said that you didn't have a new boyfriend. He is not my boyfriend. I'm not her boyfriend. They just don't get it. No, why would they? Let's go, baby. <laughs> I'm leaving, too. This basement's tainted for me now. Evelyn Peabody, come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Another old lady. She can't even reach the wheel. Can't watch The Price is Right again. I just can't. God, the summer totally sucks. There's nothing to do. Well, thanks a lot for getting me at the police station, you two sons of two bitches! Fez, what happened? Well, I got arrested. And they did a background check and found out that my student visa expires when I graduate from high school. What? Yeah, now I have to leave the country after graduation. That's in a week. And I have to relearn my native language. Good day. No, but first. I said, and I can show you the bar. Okay, tell them, Lori. I married Fez so he could stay in the country. <laughs> You did what? Don't worry, Daddy. I don't love him. I was just bored. Yeah, but we will be sleeping together. <laughs> you... Oh. Ooh. Daddy, you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, uh, my arm hurts. <clears throat> Red? Red, you're all clammy. Red, I... Th I think you're having a heart attack. No, open your eyes. He's having an arm attack. Michael? <laughs> Michael, get a chair. Lori, call an ambulance. Okay. Hang in there, Dad. <laughs> Kitty. Yes, Red? If I don't make it, kill the foreigner. <laughs> for a waiter down at the restaurant. Wow. Why'd you tell him I'm up for that job? That's why I told him. No, no, no. Look, Eric, I need this job way more than you do. You don't have a baby on the way. But I do have a family to support. And if I don't keep the booze flowing, they're gonna get violent. Well, 
Look, the only way Brooke is gonna let me be a part of my kid's life is if I proved to her that I'm responsible, and a promotion at the restaurant would impress her. And I mean, busboy's a job, but waiter is a career. <laughs> Okay, well, then, you know what? We'll just both go down there, apply, and may the best man win. No, I want it. <laughs> go! Ten bucks as a skinny little wrist snaps under the weight. I'll take that, guy. He's scrawny, but strong. Like the Viet Cong. <laughs> so, like, when does this test start? <laughs> All right. Oh, what's this? Roy, I think you might have left a $20 bill tucked in my sleeve. I'm always losing stuff. <laughs> what? No, Roy, that was... And go! <laughs> Derek, give it up. I'm not going to be able to do this. Hey, well, that's not the Kelso I know. A lot of people said you couldn't fit 73 cherry bombs into a toilet, and who proved them wrong? Oh, I did. That's right, and a lot of people said you couldn't make out with both of the Ziggler twins in the same night, and who proved them wrong? I did. Oh, and I also brushed her mom's boob at a bake sale, so actually it was a threefer. Exactly! You are Michael Kelso, right? You make the impossible happen. Now, come on. Let's do this. Hmm. Okay, ready, get set, Kelso! <laughs> what? <laughs> Good luck. Hey, remember, buddy, the tray is like a lady. Dance with her. <laughs> and... Congratulations, you got the job. Oh, I can't wait to tell Brooke. Hey, welcome to the exclusive ranks of waiter at a crappy hotel restaurant. <laughs> I can't believe that I did it. Yeah. I can't believe the glue held. <laughs> yeah, super glue kicks ass. Hey, what, Kelso? Your first shift is not gonna go well. Oh, it's gonna be a disaster. Hello, Wisconsin!